Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Prime Minister has arrived at the venue. We begin with the kind consent of the Honorable Prime Minister. At the outset, we would like to commence today's event with the welcome remarks by the President of Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry, DCCI, Mr. Rizwan Rahman. I'm requesting Mr. Rizwan Rahman to make his welcome remarks. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Your Excellency Sheikh Hasina, Honorable Prime Minister, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Honorable Foreign Minister Dr. A.K.A. Momen, Honorable Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi, Honorable Advisor to the Prime Minister on Private Industry and Investment Mr. Salman F. Rahman, Guest of Honor FBCCI President Muhammad Jashimuddin, my co-host today Tapan Kantik Hosh, Secretary Ministry of Commerce, eminent business leaders, distinguished ambassadors from home and abroad, esteemed colleagues from DCCI, friends from the print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum, and a very good morning to all of you. I take absolute pleasure in welcoming you all to the Bangladesh Trade and Investment Summit 2021, jointly organized by the Ministry of Commerce and Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We are truly grateful to the Honorable Prime Minister, Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina, for her gracious presence at the inaugural ceremony of the week-long international summit, despite having numerous engagements. The presence of the Honorable Prime Minister, who has made Bangladesh as a role model for development, has not only inspired us, but also made this inaugural ceremony even more glorious. Thank you, Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry, DCCI, the most vibrant and frontier chamber in Bangladesh has been promoting private sector development over the last six decades through wide-ranging policy advocacy roles, working in tandem with the government and other development organizations on cross-border trade, investment, regional economic integration, and contemporary economic matters. In this regard, to celebrate the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bongo Bondhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and the Golden Jubilee of the Independence of Bangladesh, DCCI and the Ministry of Commerce undertook a public-private partnership move to rejuvenate the global trade and investment tie amidst the pandemic-induced economic crisis and development momentum. This summit is instrumental to deepen the economic tie between Bangladesh and the entire world with an objective to extend global integration, portraying Bangladesh as an attractive economic destination. Honorable Prime Minister, Bangladesh has been the fastest growing economy. In the last decade, they have posted 6% plus economic growth and marked 8% trajectory right before the COVID outbreak. Under your sagacious leadership, Bangladesh recorded 5.47% growth, double digit export growth, consistent foreign reserve hike, withstanding shocks backed by resilient economic management. The IMF has termed Bangladesh as the third largest growth-making state in the world for 2020, and Bangladesh is expected to surpass the GDP of many countries like Netherlands, Denmark, Philippines, Hong Kong, Singapore, and many others by 2025. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, for guiding the country towards the light at the end of the tunnel, which is known to be the darkest pandemic of the last century. Ladies and gentlemen, the persistent economic growth Bangladesh has enabled to meet three eligibility criteria of the UN CDP successively twice and qualified to graduate into a developing country by 2026 amidst various challenges. The digital transformation of the economy has set a new milestone and spearheaded the private sector-led business operations. With the prudent and firm leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister and the private sector, active role of the private sector has overcome the pandemic effects to some extent and in various avenues revived many dynamics. Industrial and physical infrastructure are addressed for investment efficient industrial ecosystem through 100 economic zones, 28 high-tech parks, 
10 export processing zones, API for pharmaceutical, API Park for Pharmaceuticals, mega projects, and engagement with multimodal connectivity to enable regional economic integration. Alongside the pro-business policy reforms, it is inevitable to mention that despite the pandemic crisis, our economy kept making substantial progress in SDG recognized by the United Nations. We take great pride in the SDG Progress Award conferred to the Honorable Prime Minister during her recent visit to the UN General Assembly, which the People's Prime Minister has dedicated to the people of Bangladesh. Distinguished guests, Bangladesh offers the most liberal FDI regime in South Asia, allowing 100% foreign equity, unrestricted exit of royalty, equity, and a wide range of tax concessions and incentives, a vibrant capital market, and strong demographic dividend. Our economic road to recovery in pandemic time follows the course of actions in survive, revive, and thrive, which we experienced throughout the journey from a war-ravaged economy to a developing economy from 1971 to 2021. It is high time to adopt a functional road to recovery, aiming at the re revival, survival, and thriving strategies in the global scale to po promptly address the post-pandemic transition. Honorable Prime Minister, the private sector is the lifeline of the economy and steers almost all activities, as mentioned by you many a times. Our irresistible private sector adheres to the changing economic dynamics and upholds the deep-rooted spirit of 1971, Shonar Bangla, the Golden Bengal. With the motivation of globalization philosophy, think globally, act locally. DCCI has crafted this opportune agenda to ease the global economic stagnation towards a renewed expedition of economic excellence. As a commitment of the private sector to leverage the world economy, this summit has congregated 552 companies from 38 countries, portraying greater confidence in Bangladesh and fraternity of the global business revival. Honorable Prime Minister, in this summit, we have an impressive line of speakers from home and abroad to discuss the opportunities and challenges encountered in our foreign trade. We believe Bangladesh no longer builds Bangladesh, but rather it contributes to the global economy. Bangladesh can steer the interim global transformation by fostering connectivity as the gateway between Asia and the rest of the world through global integration. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope today's summit is inevitable to position physical and virtual readiness of the economy I would like to humbly thank the Ministry of Commerce for entrusting DCCI to, for putting together the largest virtual summit ever held in Bangladesh. My sincere gratitude to the special guests and dignitaries, respected audience for your kind presence, and we believe with the right direction from the government, the private sector will be able to spearhead the required fraternity, connecting the economy of tomorrow. And the last but not the least, I take great pride in announcing 50 years ago Dhaka Chamber had the privilege and utmost honor to host the then Prime Minister, Bongo Bondu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And I'm absolutely delighted to say 50 years later today, her able daughter is giving us the leadership and gracing today's event as the chief guest. Thank you, John Anetri. Thank you, Prime Minister. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, Mr. President of DCCI. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, the theme of this Trade and Investment Summit 